Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing fantastic. And today, the time is upon us. We are entering a new giveaway. That's right. Today, we are going to be giving away a knife from Monthly Knife Club. And those folks over there generously provided these knives to me to do a review on. And I said, man, I ain't got time to do no review. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it to one of you. That's right. One of you guys out there is going to win this knife right here. This is from their Tier 2 name brand knife, right? Tier 2 name brand knife. I was trying to read that upside down. There you go. This is a damn design. This is a Chimera folding knife generously provided by monthly knife club you can see all their socials down there on the bottom of the card hit them up on tiktok youtube what is that the what is that the instagram and, and the old facebook tell them how much you appreciate them tell them much uh you know tell them much you found from my channel you know you come to my channel maybe maybe this is where you found them if you did let them know because if you let them know that'll let them know that i'm doing a good job promoting their stuff win-win so what we're going to do we're going to give away this knife we're also going to give away this cool glockzilla sticker that i got two of so yes i'm going to give one of them away and the sort of the legally stuff here this this giveaway is not is not put on by monthly knife club it's put on by me this is all me not youtube not nobody just yours truly right here so uh also to enter this giveaway, please live in the continental United States because I am sending you guys out rations and I do not want to have any issue with customs. So please be in the continental United States. Please be over 18 years old because this is a knife. Don't want to send it to some 10 year old. So if you lie to me, that's on you. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, this giveaway is going to end Sunday, August 20th at 6 p.m. I will draw. I will pick a winner. I will re respond to a comment off this video then on Sunday. And I will also do a video letting you guys know who won. All right. Any questions? You got a question? No? No questions? Okay. So what we got here, we got the damn design Chimera folder. Now, one thing I do like about this knife is it's, it's, it's bigger. It's, it's on the larger side for a uh, pocket knife, which is cool by me. I don't have no problems with it. You're also going to get this little like cleaning cloth. It's like a what do you microfiber, microfiber kind of. And it and it's embroidered. Uh, is that embroidered on there, or is it just printed? It may just be printed. But anyway, it's got their logo, so it's really neat. Something for you to have, right? And it does fold out. Well, it does fold out. I just don't want to fold it out because then I got to fold it all back up, and I want to keep it nice and neat. Because it's going to go to one of you guys. This knife doesn't even belong to me. What am I doing? I'm getting my grubby fingerprints all over it and everything. All right, so this is what we're rocking with. And like I said, this is a, this is a bigger knife. This, 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 is a, this knife's got some meat to it. This is not for the faint of heart. And it looks like the, the pocket clip here is reversible because we do have sort of an insert here on this side where the pocket clip would go, and it kind of matches the other side. So I'm pretty sure you can pop this little plate out. You can... Put that thing right on the other side and if you need that and let's see the scales are really i really do like the scales on this because you have a flat plane you have a flat plane right here and then you have sort of a, a ledge slope on either side on this side and this side and it's you know you know it's, it's symmetrical you know from one side to the other and it's got some very very smooth texturing very subtle texturing not smooth texturing that don't even make any sense Man, I hadn't even started drinking yet. Very subtle texturing. So very, very subtle texturing. But it's enough you can feel it. You know, it's enough when you when you put your hands on it, you can feel it. Ooh, look at that. Got a cool stone wash looking blade rocking a liner lock. Look at that blade profile there. Isn't that isn't that a beauty? Got some jimping up here on the thumb on the thumb deployer. And we do have a thumb deployer tab on both sides of the blade, which is nice. And we've got jimping from, from the edge of the blade to about right there. About right there. So very much a nice pad. There's no, there's no you know, texturing on the top of the scale, you know, if you don't want your hand to go all the way up onto the blade like this. I'm not going really, to really knock points for that. Because having the jimping right here, because this is going to be the grip you're going to have. Perfectly fine. 
bottom very straight kind of straight we have a little bit of a little bit of angle going into a, a little choil here for your index that flipper tab does kick up to kind of give you a natural stop there i do like that because not everybody's fingers you know you want to you don't want to be forced into a grip so i believe planting that index finger and then letting your other fingers go wherever they're going to go even if you want to space them out that to me this is a perfect blade and i do like it that you can cut like this on this end or you could turn it up like this and you can cut down really the is this this i'm going to say this is kind of like a tonto ish kind of blade let's see what the card here has to say it says welcome back monthly knife club members and this is an invitation also if you do like this stuff why don't you head over to monthly knife club and join yeah join go check them out they got a they got how many boxes they got they got like what uh four or five boxes to choose from six boxes maybe they got a lot I will have a link to them in the description box of this video if you want to go check them out. And you should. Not just because I'm giving you a free knife or a chance at a free knife. They're good people. I love them. They support the channel. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it says, we're excited to bring you another design from Adrian at Damn Designs. So kudos to you, buddy. If you're, you know, you're not going to watch this video. But if you do, kudos to you. I love this knife. This, I, I really... I'm really going to be sad to see this knife go, because this is a knife I would definitely carry. Okay, yeah, the Chimera's Beast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonto-style blade, made of 14C28N Sandvik stainless steel. That's, that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot of goodness there. So there you go. Sandvik stainless steel, deploys buttery smooth thanks to a ball-bearing pivot system. The handle's a work of art, textured G10 scales that can take a beating and keep going. It says, this knife will make your buds jealous of your EDC rotation. And I'm going to tell you, it is buttery smooth. I mean, look, that was no effort. That was no effort. That was just me doing this. Just, just that. That's all it takes. Locks, very crisp. It's a very, very good knife. I love this knife. I love it. Even how the tail kind of matches the tanto on the blade, you know, the, the sweep of the angle there. It's, it's a very pretty knife. What can I say? It's a very pretty knife. I love it. Man, it sounds like I'm trying to sell it to you. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm trying to give it to one of you for crying out loud. All right, specs. We got 5.30 ounces. We got 3.4 inch blade length. We have an overall of 8.10. So like I said, this is, this is a big knife. And G10 handle. 55 bucks on the cost plus shipping and handling takes it up to around 60 to 75 bucks. So somebody to me is, is going to get a good knife. This, this to me is going to be a really, really good knife for one of you guys to add to your EDC rotation because I love it. And if I love it, then that also means you're going to love it. And that's not no flim flam. And that's not Boulder Dash. And that's not Farfig Nugan. That ain't none of that, man. That's 100% that's, 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 that's facts. I'm even going to give you the little desiccate pack. I'm even going to put it in there for you. So you see, I'm a complete guy. All right, so that's the knife, all right? So that's probably what you're most excited about, even the little Godzilla sticker. So we got that. Now, since you guys love the rations so much, we're not going to stop here. I'm going to give you some rations too. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's kick off with some awfulness here. This is going to be humanitarian daily ration, HDR. Gift. Food gift from the good people of the United States of America. I'm going to give this gift to one of you. This is menu number two. It doesn't really matter what menu number it is. It's probably gross. That's for you to find out. Number two. There you go. It's pretty, pretty, pretty stout, you know. It's, it's, it's pretty stout ration. I mean, it's, it's pretty thick. You can see here it's pretty thick. So, yeah. Okay. So, we got number two. Let's see. What else we got here? All right. This is going to be a Sapaco. MRE. So this is going to be from the military line. So all these components in here are going to be from military ration because Sapaco makes military components. They just happen to make this for us dirty, nasty civilians. But what I'm going to do to keep it na nasty and dirty, I'm going to give you this beef goulash. Beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. Oh, good luck with that. Okay, so that's what we got. We got this Sapaco meal here. And the date on this, I believe this is 2000, so 
I think that's the date code, 0052, so that would be the 52nd day of 2000 is when this was actually packed, and you can go in here and look at the individual components. Ew, I can't really see any dates. I don't see no date codes, but once you open it up, you know, you can, you can individually date code the products in there, and you can see when they were exactly made and everything. And then, you know, I said I'm going to give you something from... Technically, this is a military ration for civilians, but I said I was going to give you a straight-up civilian ration. Now, I'm going to cheat. This is one of my XMREs from XMRE. This is one of their 1300 XT line. You're going to open this, and there's going to be military components just like this, okay? Because there's very, very few companies that make rations, stuff like this, solely for the civilian market. So this is going to have, you know, this is going to have military components in it. But this is a meatballs and marinara sauce. It's got some crackers, some chocolate peanut butter. It's got lemon lime beverage powder, vanilla pudding, and a dry fruit mix. You're going to find the dry fruit mix in here is going to be something that's proprietary to XMRE. It's their own packaging and all that good stuff. This is from, again, my personal stash. And this is a date code of 522 three maybe but either way it's a three or an eight doesn't really matter because this is from 2015 so this mre here is about five uh five six seven eight years old so this is beyond the normal life of an mre which is generally around five years so with this you can just you know you can just use it for i don't know for your own like curiosity i guess but either way, if you watch old Steve, which we all do, we all watch Steve. We see him eat stuff from like World War II. He don't care. I don't know if he's got an iron stomach, but I'm going to tell you, when I watch his videos, some of that stuff he eats, it just makes my stomach hurt just watching him eat it. So, you made it this far. You have listened to me rant, rave, try to paint all this stuff as being scrumptious and delicious, which is probably not. You're waiting for that keyword. How do you win? How do you get entered to win, I should say? Not win. Because the computer, Skynet does all that. Not me. Go to the comment section of this video. That's right. Type in the word Chimera. The knife we are giving away. C-H-I-M-E-R-A. That's going to get you entered to win. All the stuff you see here. Chimera is the keyword. C H I M E R A. Just do give me one comment. Don't spam comments. You can write chim chimera however you want in the comment. You can make up a story about a chimera. You can tell me about how you were sitting on the toilet and you know your house got attacked by a chimera and all that kind of stuff. Tell me about it. But don't don't spam comments because the, the 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 comment picker that I use will only pick one, like one name comment one time it's not going to to recognize multiple entries so don't do that don't be that person that i have to go in there and yell at and start deleting your comments just give me one one time you can write chimera as many times as you want in your one comment it doesn't really matter all right let's see what else and like i said i will pick sunday six o'clock p.m central time august the 20th sunday all right what else am i forgetting something Please be in the United States because I can't ship these things overseas because they have to go through customs and then you get in all you can get in all kinds of trouble because this is this is food so I don't want to have no issues. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. Um, okay, well everybody's done gone, so if you're here with me, it's just me and you now. So I will hand, I will look at some of the comments real quick if you're gonna hang with me for a minute because you know it doesn't matter when you put the comment in. So technically you don't have to leave. You still got time. You got all the way till Sunday and it's only you know Monday. So let's see. I was going to go through some comments, and I did have a, 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 a guy comment. I'm not going to assume it's a guy. I had a viewer, how about that, comment on my background here. And he saw my, bo my box here of Johnny Walker Blue Label. And I did respond to his comment, but I just wanted to do it here because it's, you know, I want everybody to know, right? Because I like, I like my scotch. He asked what this bottle, what this, what this box was right here. This is a wood box. This is a Glenn Fittich 30-year... Uh, Scotch, very, very good. Single malt, you know, very, very good, very good, awesome. So, but it's empty, just like the Johnny Walker. It's, it, it's, no, longer, it's no longer around, it's, it's gone. 
but I do I do like bourbons and stuff like that. You know, I drink uh, I have a I have a, a Pappy Van Winkle Family Reserve. Uh, you know, but that that kind of stuff is a little it's a little too once the stuff stays in the barrel for so long, it gets a little too earthy for me when you start pushing those years out of it sitting in the cask and and that's kind of not my particular flavor. So it don't it don't for me it don't have to stay in the cask that long. You know, it it can stay shorter. And plus, you know, the 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 cost goes and goes through the roof. You know, some of them bottles are outrageously expensive. And yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to have all that because I ain't got that kind of I ain't got money like that. So, oh by the way, I also had a gentleman. Uh, if if you guys didn't notice or not, but in the in the videos, you know, up under up under the videos, there's a thing there. There's a little tab there for a super thanks. And it's something that I don't, I don't ever talk about. I enabled it a long time ago, but it's where you know, if if you think there's value or whatever in these videos, you know, you can you can go there. And if you did want to send any type of monetary support my way, you know, if you want to throw a couple bucks and slap me upside the head, I will take it. You know, I will tell you because you know all this stuff, all these subscription boxes that I get and all these videos that I do, you know, it's not cheap. I love doing them for y'all. You know, you definitely don't have to. Don't. No, I'm not saying that. But if you if you if you wanted to, uh, the option is there. You know, if if you feel so inclined to to slap me upside the head with some with a couple bucks, you know, your boy would greatly appreciate it. So let's see. I had I had somebody, and you know the cool thing. About, I'm gonna tell you the cool thing about YouTube, and I'm totally rambling now. But I have people watch videos that I did a long time ago. And that really terrifies the living crap out of them because, man, I went back and watched some of them old videos. Whew, man, they was rough. They was rough. Like, it was hard for me to look at the camera like I'm doing right now. I would look into that lens and I would forget exactly what I was saying. Like, I would just space out. And it was hard to relax and, you know, it's hard to do this. To do this right here. This, do you think this is easy? But, you know, for some people it's really not. I'm one of those people. It, it really was not easy for me to do this. So, anyway. But... People go back and watch, you know, they'll watch videos from, from, you know, way back in my channel, and they'll comment on them. And I, I had a guy comment on uh, a vacuum sealing video that I did with my Weston, which you can't see it because it's, it's up, up here on top of this shelf. But we vacuum seal a lot of stuff, and I used to buy the food savers. And the problem with the food savers is, you know, the, they're, they're cheap, and the, the vacuum pumps in them will go out. And you can't vacuum seal continuously because the heat builds up and then it'll end up either burning the pump off, uh, burning the pump out, or it'll, it'll cut off into like a thermal protect or whatever. But the Weston vacuum sealers, those things are like commercial grade. They're made to, to go to seal continuously. I mean, they got a fan on them and everything. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I had a guy comment about that. And, and I thought that was really cool, you know, to, to see that people, even though we're where we are today, you know, those videos you know people can go back and watch videos from from a while ago just don't judge me don't judge me especially on them old videos like i don't know what i was doing with my beard you know letting my beard like it looked all scraggly and stuff until i you know got to where i could you know keep it straight yeah man it's rough god dog it's rough it's rough out here in these streets man i'm telling you all right guys so let me know what you think comment section hit chimera c-h-i-m-e-r-a and and you know tell me do you do you are you happy with with these MREs being thrown into the mix? Because I think the next one I'm going to do is the zero tolerance knife, and I'm going to do some of the freeze dried stuff. I may you know what I may do next time? I tell you what I'm talking myself into this here. I may do some freeze dried food. What do you think about that? Go to the comment section, type Camara, get your entrance, and then tell me what you think about me doing some freeze dried food like some backpackers pantry. Or even some mountain house, you know, like some breakfast skillet or some biscuits and gravy and stuff like that. Or see, what else do I got? I got all kind of freeze-dried food. So let me know. Let me know if you'd like me to change it up, you know, in the next one. Or, or I tell you what, I got one even better. How about we do some MREs? I do an MRE and a freeze-dried food. Man, I'm on to something. I got to stop talking, man, because I'm going to be giving away everything. It's crazy. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're doing awesome. Especially on a Monday. Hopefully you're having a good Monday. Not that manic Monday. We don't need all that. So hit the comment section. Chimera is going to be the word to get you entered. Sunday, come back. Hang out on the channel. I'm, I may try to do a live stream uh, Sunday. I may try to. Depends on how everything goes. 
I know I've had a lot of people ask me to do live streams, and I would love to do a live stream, and I'm trying to get everything worked out, and I'm, I'm going to try to really get on that. So, you know, so, you know, if you guys do want to come hang out with me live and, and just, you know, ask me questions or, or get my thoughts about anything, you know, anything, because, you know, I have an opinion on everything, especially, you know, social issues, cultural stuff, you know, I don't know if you want to get me talking about politics or religion, probably don't, but anyway, yeah, so that's what's, that's what's going to be on the agenda going forward, guys. So, hope you're doing well, and get down there, hit that chimera on the comment section, and good luck to all of you, to all of you, right? And we will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.